Their presence was always there in our minds, and that was part of the lure, because if you have a sense of adventure, sharks, sharks were a part of it, embodied in it in those early days. They were always a presence, and they were never a problem presence. Wherever we were, they were just benign and curious, and as curious as we were, they went their way, we went our way. To me, it was a, it was a tremendous privilege to be able to jump in the water while you went diving. That was part of the landscape. Now, more than ever, sharks count. Areas that once swarmed with a particular species of shark just decades ago may have been overfished or even wiped out. But it is this current population level that is considered the norm by a new generation of divers. This shift in perception occurs when each new generation of divers reinterprets what is a natural local shark population. There are divers among us who have served as sentinels of the sea for decades. Meet a few of the pioneering generation of bold adventurers, some of the first men and women to train and enter the ocean as scuba divers who witnessed firsthand a drastic change in our oceans, a decline in its apex predators sharks. Over their decades of diving, these pioneers have accumulated memories of a shifting baseline in the numbers of sharks that were once common on our reefs. My name is Stan Waterman. I've been diving in Florida waters for years that go back to 1933, maybe 1934 as a young boy. It wasn't until later, and Jacques Cousteau, of course, was a great great progenitor of what came later, that we began going really into the sea and began to encounter sharks at first hand. And not until we had that seminal experience making Blue Water White Death did we have the first opening of a window to what we could possibly learn about sharks and intelligence there and the fact that we could as divers work with them if we knew what we were doing. My name is Judy Schraff. I've been diving in Florida waters for a little bit over 40 years. I was certified in 1969. Sometime in the late 80s, uh, we used to do a Wednesday dive off Singer Island, and it was about 90 feet. Halfway down, they saw great huge shapes on the bottom, which they assumed were turtles. And they continued down because it was a little murky and they couldn't quite make them out. And when they got to the bottom, they found out that they were really tiger sharks. And what could anybody do there past the point of no return? So they just kind of continued floating through them and out the other end and nothing ever happened. So I, I never had a fear of big fish. I've been diving in Florida waters for over 30 years, maybe even 40 years. There was a dive site called the 110 foot rock piles off of Palm Beach. During the summer, there would be a lot of sharks, bull sharks. We would get 20 or even 30 bull sharks swimming in a, in a column. And uh, all around them would be a group of lemon sharks swimming nose to nose like a train. And it was just fantastic. And then you'd have this great show of sharks. And they'd come up and they'd look at you, but it was never dangerous. It was just exciting. It was beautiful. It was like no other place you could go, at least nowhere I knew of, at least back then. My name is George Andrichek. I've been diving in Florida for, oh, about 35 years. I originally got certified in around 1974. All my diving was done locally, and there was a lot of diving to be done back then. I grew up with the, you know, Jacques Cousteau books, and later on the movies, and one of my early experiences when I was just starting to get into diving, we were just going through Intrama, which is now the FIU campus, and I remember seeing in one of the inland canals a beached shark and that guy was about eight feet long. It was humongous. And so they, they were here and I, I haven't seen a shark anywhere near that size in decades here in, in Florida. My name is Jay Garbos. I've been diving in Florida for 28 years. 
My first dive was in 1983, and I saw a shark on my first dive immediately that year, and it was a hammerhead, actually. We would go every Saturday morning and Saturday afternoon, Sunday morning and Sunday afternoon, and would be totally enveloped in sharks. So thick, if you were in the middle of this ball, you would actually get disoriented and couldn't tell which was up or down. There was no fear. They were certainly tolerant of us. Over the years, the sharks started dwindling in numbers. And then after, I would say, the next seven years, the shark population just dropped entirely. One year, probably in the 1990s, maybe a freeze, but we also had heard a number of fishermen went out and longlined that area. And then after that, the sharks were really cleared out. And now in the 2000s, uh, it's very rare that I see a shark out there, including going to places that we would name after sharks, Hammerhead Reef, um, Shark Canyon. I go to those spots now, and I don't see any sharks at all. In Florida's waters, where these divers once saw sharks regularly, now they rarely do. When I dive in the spots of my youth, and I'm not really remembering them as being better than they were, I, I could pretty objectively say what they were. It was really great for this area. When I return to those sites now, the fish aren't there and seeing sharks is very uncommon. You just don't see 20 or 30 bull sharks. You don't see 20 or 30 lemon sharks at that site, no matter what you do. And the reason is commercial fishermen killed those sharks back at the end of the 1980s. Well, back in those days, you were pretty sure to see a shark on most dives if you went on the outer reefs. Mostly reef sharks, white tips, good variety of like medium-sized sharks. The sharks are very much, or should be, an integral part of the, the, the ocean environment. And I do miss not seeing them. My name is Jim Abernathy. I have been diving in Florida for 44 years, since 1967. In the middle of the winter, I would see uh, migrating scalloped hammerheads. Um, these would also cover, you know, from the, the bottom of the floor all the way up to the surface. And this would go on for days as they would pass through our area. I thought that this would be a regular occurrence for many years to come, but I was very wrong. In the early 80s, there was a huge number of great hammerheads as well as an abundance of tiger sharks. And although I do see hammerheads on a regular basis, this number is nothing compared to what it was many years ago. Um, the populations of sharks along the Florida coast have been essentially wiped out. My name is Jeff Trotta. I've been diving in Florida waters for over 50 years. I started diving with Noreen Rouse in the early 1970s. Around the middle 1980s, we discovered a place off of West Palm Beach, Florida, where we could see sharks on a regular basis, mostly bull sharks. And we were seeing uh, big numbers of them for several years. Earlier days of diving here, we used to see uh, great hammerhead sharks and occasional scalloped hammerheads. And uh, nowadays, there's those numbers have dropped drastically. We, we barely see any. I just took my nephew for his first ocean dives. It took us about three days to find the first shark. Now he's really gung-ho on, on shark diving, and I'm encouraging him to keep records of the sharks, unlike me, who I just saw them and I never bothered to enter any kind of uh, data on them. Scientists estimate that one-third of all shark species are threatened with extinction. All over the world, local populations are disappearing at an alarming rate, and the delicate balance of our ocean's ecosystems is at risk. A healthy ocean needs its sharks. Sharks Count is a citizen science program that gives divers the simple and fun tools to log and collect important shark sighting data anywhere and everywhere they dive or travel. Whether you're on your first dive adventure, an avid photographer, or just want to learn more about sharks, you can join our global team of divers collecting basic data to help us document remaining shark populations. Join us in our quest to better understand sharks and protect them for future generations of divers to enjoy. Please visit www.sharksavers.org for more information. Now, more than ever, now, more than ever. Now, more than ever. Sharks count. Sharks count. 
And now, now more than ever, Sharks Count. Join the Sharks Count program because every shark counts.